Hello, God's beautiful people. I am back with another word from the Lord. Uh, if it's your first time here, my name is Tara, and God uses me to deliver prophetic, word, prophetic uh, words <laughs> to his children um, via dream, um, visions, being able to hear and see in the spirit, and some other ways as well. This particular word, it seems if all the words today are based off of dreams, um, and this particular um, dream, um, I was someplace unfamiliar. This is me in this dream again. Um, it wasn't familiar to me in real life, so I, I didn't know where I was. And I had on this deep colored, purple plum colored looking coat or wrap. Um, when I woke up, the Holy Spirit said cloak. Okay, so... Um, what I kept hearing also in the spirit was covering. Um, so this man, he walks up to me very easily and he tried to remove it off of me. I didn't know him and I couldn't see his face and I resisted him. We didn't fight. It wasn't no fighter or tussling or altercation. It was just more of a stance of being, to, to being determined that he would not remove my covering after he knew that he wouldn't win and that I wasn't backing down, he fled. So then there was two angelic figures that appeared after that. Um, they looked more like cherubs. Um, they walked me, walked over to me, and then they walked me over to this. I call it a contraption, y'all. I don't know what it was. It was like this little lever or something like a step or something. And they had me to step on it. And when I did, it began to elevate me to the next level. And then I woke up. Okay, so, whoo, that was a whole, I was like, okay, Lord, I see what you're trying to do here. But this is what the Lord showed me. First of all, we're going to address the coat. It represents your anointing. It represents the mantle, okay? And then the color of the coat represents royalty and kingship and God blessed me he let me know that there are some people that the enemy is sending your way trying their best to remove the mantle and the blessing and the anointing from your life they are literally trying to uncover you because they know you are covered they know that that covering is where God is taking you he is protecting you and he is elevating you to the next level okay God is saying that the enemy is sending different forms different people, but this person, this, I couldn't even see their face. Their entire demeanor was dark and they was covered in darkness. Okay. So that absolutely represents the enemy. Okay. But let me tell you something. Some of y'all got such a powerful anointing on your life. Okay, that you don't even know that there are people being disguised in your life and all they want to do is get that coat off you. They want to get that covering off you. They want to try to make you step out of character so they can say you ain't anointed so they can delay. They can de remove that mantle off your life. Honey, but see, they already know you royalty, okay? God says you are mine, and that's why he got you clothed, okay, in his covering. So know in this season, you got to watch how you move. You got to watch who you talk to. God told me a couple of weeks ago, block your ear gates and your eye gates. You got to be careful what you listen to, who you talk to, what you see, what you're listening to, everything in this season, because the enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy he want that mantle off your life. He wants that anointing off your life. But God say, if you would just stand, 
If you will just trust him, if you will just resist the enemy and God wants you to stand 10 toes down, knowing that you are his, knowing that he got you covered and he promises that the enemy will not be able to touch you. And if you can stand long enough, baby, he is going to elevate you to the next level, but you have to be willing to trust God. You have to be willing to represent God the way you represent your homeboys and your homegirls. You got to be willing to be like, oh, that's my shorty. Uh, oh, that's my homeboy. You come for them. You come for me. God said, I need you to be the same way with me. He needs you to stand 10 toes down for him. Oh, you ain't finna come up against my Jesus. You ain't finna because when you come at me, you coming at the Lord. When you coming at me, you coming at my anointing. When you coming at me, you coming at my purpose. When you coming at me, you coming at my promise. So all of that, when you coming at me, you coming at the most high. And I ain't, I ain't having it. Shut it down. Stand. Don't let the enemy... Come and try to remove your covering. Don't cause, don't let the enemy cause you to step out of character. Because if you keep leaning and trusting and depending and knowing and showing that God is your God. He going to show them that you are his child. He's going to show them that you are his chosen. He's going to show them that you are anointed. He's going to show them that you are blessed. He's going to show them that you are loved. He's going to show them that you are protected. He's going to show them that there is nothing about you that is weak. He's going to show them that you are a soldier in all this. They tried to destroy you and you came out strong. They tried to burn you alive, but you came out not smelling like smoke. God is about to show up and show out in your life. And when he elevates you, they're going to be looking crazy. They're going to be like, oh, I just knew. I just knew when I when I cursed her out, she was going to cuss me back out. Oh, I really wanted to, but I did do it. I just knew when I talked about her and it got back to her, I just knew she was going to show out. I just knew when I stole from her that she was going to show out. I just knew when I dated his girl that he was going to show out. I just knew when I talked about his mom. I just knew when I got him fired. I just knew all of the, I knew he was going to his demise, but God says, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm because baby you came out of there like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. You came out the lion's den just like Daniel. You defeated Goliath just like David. Honey you was elevated just like Joseph. I'm telling you in this season the enemy wants to remove your covering. They want your anointing. They want what you got. And if they can't have it, they don't want you to have it. But I need y'all to stand 10 toes down for the Lord. I need y'all to be like, no, greater is he that is in me than that that is in the world. Get thee behind me, Satan. You can't touch me. And I promise you, they will not. And you will watch them. From where God is elevating you to. Because they're going to still be down where you came from. Trust God. Trust him. And see what he do. Watch him make your enemy your footstool. And baby let me tell you about that table. That he going to prepare for you. Honey. They're going to be crying. And they're going to be begging for crumbs. Trust God. Don't let him remove your cloak. Don't let them remove that anointing and that royalty status on your life. Because I'm telling you where God is taking you. Ah, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. I know y'all get tired of me saying it, but this is that season. Ah, eyes haven't seen. Okay. The elevation is going to be amazing. Stand ten toes down for the ten toes down for the Lord and watch what He do with it.
Watch what he does for you. Watch how he elevates you. Watch how he makes your enemies hate the day they ever came up against you. I love y'all and I'll be back with another word.